Now we've spoken a few times on this channel about the HomePod. How is it as an audio speaker? How capable is it as a smart assistant? Well, there's one thing that we haven't spoken about, and that is a very important subject that we're going to be covering today. And that is, is the HomePod waterproof? Waterproof? Now, I am talking to you from inside my airing cupboard, and there's a very good reason for that, because this has been the home of one of my HomePods for the last seven days. Here it is, down here, on the floor, as you can see on this tray. And the reason that the HomePod is there is because exactly one week ago today, I fell off a desk and ended up in a bucket of water, fully submerged. It was a great shot actually, because the bucket was on the floor, as you expect. The HomePod was on the desk and my other half was cleaning the windows inside. Good job too and just one of these freak accidents she managed to go and move the desk or whatever anyway cable power cable got caught in something and it just whoop, off the desk straight submerged in the bucket of water now i'm not suggesting for a moment that you should do that to your home pod but it's going to be interesting to see if it still works i'm not i'm not hopeful i have to be honest i am not hopeful so i put it in here exactly a week ago to dry out and I'm now going to take it downstairs, plug it in, and then from a suitably socially safe distance, uh, we'll see whether it still works. Right, we are now down in the kitchen. I must point out at this stage that I have a RCD on the, in the fuse box. So I'm relatively confident that if anything is is wrong with this thing if it's if it's if it is knackered the worst thing that will happen is it will just trip the rcd that's what i'm hoping right i'm gonna stand back <laughs> right i have turned the power on nothing's happened Lights came on top. That's interesting. Uh, tell me a joke. We have a light at the top. I don't know whether it just means that it's kind of booting up or whether the speakers are absolutely knackered. Let's. Um... Hey, what's the time? It's eighteen thirty. Okay. Realise that you were fully submerged in a bucket. LOL. Oh. <laughs> LOL. Well, I, I didn't laugh. I have to say. I mean, okay, it looks a little bit, you know, it needs a clean. You've got some sort of. Right, apologies for that. It's, it's because I sort of touch them and the music starts. So I'm having to block out bits of when it's playing the music. But you can see there's some little sort of deposits of kind of like just a scummy muck on the top there but apart from that it seems to be none the worse for wear which is seriously impressive actually okay so that is good news that the home pod here has actually survived being dunked underwater it has survived being a fully submerged i'm not kidding you when i say that this thing went right in the bucket and it was literally completely covered in water, soapy water is that, maybe that made a difference. <laughs> so if there's one thing that we've established, it's that you probably shouldn't drop your HomePod into a bucket of water. But should that happen, and you stick it in an airing cupboard for about a week, then you have a fairly good chance that it'll carry on working. It's quite amazing really, I have to admit that I was pretty sure that it wouldn't, and that I'd have to buy a replacement. Anyway, there we go, that's a pretty useless piece of information and you've now wasted a few minutes of your life because frankly, who cares? But anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please remember to like it if you have, hit that like button, hit the subscribe and notification bell if you wanna find some more of these type of videos. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.